responses and then we'll take the next round. Okay, so um, can I respond to your submissions because I wanted to directly respond. I was actually thinking about this coming here because I thought that it was going to be one of the, the, the coming questions, how do we even start to decolonize science because science is true because it is science and you know what can you do? And my, my response to that was if I personally were committed to enforcing decolonization, science as a whole is a product of Western modernity and the whole thing should be scratched off, <laughs> especially in Africa. So if you want, if you want practical solutions to how to decolonize science, we'd have to restart science from, I don't know, an African perspective, from our perspective of how we've experienced science. For instance, um, I had a question for all the science people is, uh, there's a, a place uh, in Kezad, in Mkabi and they believe that through uh, the magic, the black magic, you call it black magic, they call it bushcraft to others, that you are able to send a lightning to strike someone. So can you explain that scientifically? Because it's it is something true. that happens if <laughs> 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 Um, I need to address you directly. When we started this, we, ag we agreed on certain house rules. Okay. And by you doing that, you're disrespecting the sacredness of the space. And so I'd like to ask you to first please apologize Sorry. to the panel directly. And then number two, understand the rules that we went by in this space. Because it's going to be very problematic. This, when we started, this is not an antagonizing space. And so what you're trying to do is collapse the space and make it antagonizing, which we will not allow. This is a progressive space for people to say their opinions. And we have noted how those opinions are going to be laid out. So I would like you to first apologize and then go on and agree to abiding by the rules of the space. Otherwise, I'd I'll, I'll, I would, if you're not willing to do that, I'd please ask you to remove yourself from the space. But th those are the rules of the game of the space. Okay, I'm very sorry to the panel. Okay, and you agree to abide by the rules of the space. Thank you. Please carry on. So I will finish. See, that very response is the reason why I am not in the science faculty. I did science throughout my high school years, and there was a lot of things that I just, um, yeah, but it's fine. But Western modernity, is the direct antagonistic factor to decolonization because Western knowledge is totalizing. It is saying that it was Newton and only Newton who knew or saw an apple falling and then out of nowhere decided that gravity existed and created a, an equation and that is it. For the re whether people knew Newton or not or whether whatever happens in Western Africa, Northern Africa, the thing is the only way to explain gravity is through Newton who sat under a tree and saw an apple fall. So Western modernity is the problem that decolonization directly deals with to say that we are going to decolonize by having knowledge that is produced by us, that speaks to us, and that is able to accommodate knowledge from our perspective. So if you're saying that you disagree with her approach, it means that you are vested in the Western and Eurocentric way of understanding, which means you yourself still need to go back internally, decolonize your mind, come back and say, how can I re-look at what I've been studying all these years? Because Western knowledge is very pathetic to say the least. I, from a decolonized perspective, believe we can do more as new knowledge producers, as people who are given the ability to reason or whatever uh, is that people say we do when we think or rationalize. So decolonizing the science would mean doing away with it entirely and starting all over again to deal with how we respond to the environment and how we understand it. Thank you. Um, okay. I